Hi, welcome. FPV Will, that's me. And I started this channel and it pretty much is going to be about RC airplanes and FPV. And what FPV is, a first person view, it's sort of like uh, flying like a bird. You know, you put um, goggles on and control the plane and it gives you the first person view. And these are kind of the components that I'll be using when I uh, when I fly FPV. I have the Fat Shark Classics. Uh, these are kind of pre-production model, but it has a 5.8 gigahertz receiver built in. Um, I have the Immersion RC Clover Leaf antennas, which is an addition, and uh, it gives you better reception. Um, this one also has head tracker, which I only have a seven channel radio. I'm going to be using the, the Spectrum DX7. And um, I have all the channels currently used, so I can't have Ed Tracker just yet. Uh, I'm thinking about going with the Eternity 9X. But um, that's the goggles, which when you put them on your face, you can basically see yourself flying. Next thing I'm going to use is the Arcos um, Internet Tablet. It's the Arcos 5 Internet Tablet. And it uh, has a 5 inch screen. And what I'm going to use this for is. Uh, the DVR feature for recording my flight coming out of the goggles and this is what they call the Arcos 5 DVR snap-on and it lets you record video onto the Arcos 5 and my plane I'm using the Sky Surfer pretty much everything purchased uh, from ready-made RC and uh, I'm going to use the, five, the 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter with the cloverleaf antenna. Um, it also has a um, Emacs GT 2815 um, 05 16,000 kV electric motor, and I'm going to be using a 76 uh, APC prop, 40 amp uh, electronic speed controller. Use the uh, Fat Shark. Uh, 420 line resolution CCD killer um, camera that also has audio and um, with the DX7 I'm going to use the AR7000 receiver with the um, the satellite which gives you longer range um, the Feutech Hornet OSD and the Feutech 31AP which is the autopilot stabilization unit and uh, let me go ahead and move the camera down and I'll show you um, basically how I'm going to install this in the Sky Surfer. Okay, so this will be uh, the camera I'll be using. And uh, what I'll do is I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. And see if I can basically give you a better video of what's going on. Maybe something like this. Okay, all right, and this will be a CCD killer, and right now, you know, it has two servos to pan and, and tilt and stuff like that, but this is a little mount that I had handmade, balsa wood, plywood, and kind of glued it together that's going to sit on the plane. Now, this is uh, basically my control board, and let's see if I can move it a little better. Okay, this is my control board. And this is the G GPS unit that goes with the Hornet OSD. But basically, I made a little plywood board. It has the Hornet OSD FY31AP. And I installed it on this piece of plywood with Velcro. And this is about in the CG point of the plane. This is my AR7000. And the satellite is just going to be separated like this. And um, what I'll do is uh, the way that I have it wired, this is a a 5 amp um, Hobby King BEC that basically gives power to my uh, receiver and I'll go over real quick um, how I pretty much wired everything up okay first thing is you got your 12 volt which is you got a current sensor here this is the current sensor and what that does is that's where your main basically your power goes for your motor and I'll have two separate batteries but uh, this is uh, the connection for the motor and um, okay so what I did is 
on this BEC, right before the BEC, I have a Dean's plug that runs down a 12 volt into the Hornet OSD. So the first thing is 12 volt into the Hornet OSD. Then in return, my Hornet OSD feeds power. Let's see if I can show you. Feeds power to my video transmitter that is located on the back of the plane. That is the, the 600 milliwatt transmitter. So power is going to go to that. Then what I did is I used my uh, the connector on on that and basically moved it, provided 12 volts to that, and then I have five volts coming from the fat sharp that powers my camera. So you know I had to solder everything and did that, but you know I got my voltage that way. And then basically the uh, the uh, BEC that goes into the receiver provides power to the Hornet um, FY31AP. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, attempt to basically slide all of this mess back into the plane so you can see that it, it does fit with the configuration I have. And sometimes it's a little bit of a pain, but take this. And it's good to make all your wires just a little bit longer where you can basically fit it into the plane. But what I do is I take this receiver, kind of set it up, because I'll be able to slide it back once I get it in. And it's slide this board all the way to the front of the plane with no batteries in it. So that's what kind of gives you the room to basically move it in. Okay. And there's a lot of wires in here, and you got to pay attention to what's pulling and what's not. And once I get it in place, then you can set things up also. And sometimes to make it easy, I actually take the receiver off. For some reason it's not cooperating right now. And I will attempt it again. So slide it into the nose. Something is hanging up. Might be that receiver that I tilted. Let's see, I'll take the receiver and put it on the back for now. Until I slide it back. It's probably the receiver wasn't doing anything like this. It was. Satellite receiver. And this is it's not going well for sliding it into the plane because it is a lot of equipment that goes into the plane. And I knew it was 